Hello, today I'm sharing with you the secret to making the perfect cupcake. And I'll give you a little clue, it's got something to do with the gas cooktop over there. I'm going to make berry butterfly cakes. This reminds me of my childhood, I absolutely love them. They're pretty, they're good for little kids, big kids, and it's a super simple recipe. For our dry ingredients, we've got our self-raising flour straight into a bowl and some caster sugar. Don't have to worry about sifting it. This really is the simplest way to make the perfect cupcake. We've mixed that together. So the next thing we're going to do is melt some butter. The secret to the perfect cupcake is using gas to melt the butter. Using a nice, fine, low temperature, get a good even heat across our saucepan. And that way, we're just melting the butter until it's not hot and it won't burn. So when we add the eggs, it won't scramble. Okie dokie, we've got our melted butter. Now I'm just going to pop this into a separate bowl. And the reason is we can mix all the wet ingredients into our flour and sugar. Two eggs. And just some milk as well. For that classic cupcake flavour, vanilla extract. We just whisk that together until it's nice and smooth. And in no time, we're going to have beautiful glossy cupcake batter. Now we don't want to overbeat it. You're just waiting until all the ingredients are incorporated. So we've got a muffin tray and we've just put in some little paper cases. Always have to have those when you're making cupcakes. I'm going to use two spoons to fill up each patty case. Taking a nice big spoonful and making sure they're nice and full. These are looking great. They're going to go into a 180 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes till they're golden brown and cooked all the way through. While our cupcakes are in the oven, we're going to make some Chantilly cream. Now this is going to go on top of each of the cupcakes. So we've just got some thickened cream into a bowl, icing sugar and some vanilla bean paste. Again, just that classic vanilla bean flavour. Now we just whisk it all together until we get lovely soft peaks. Absolutely beautiful. We've got our piping bag here, a spatula, and we're just using a little star nozzle. Cream's ready to go. Okay, our cupcakes are looking absolutely beautiful. Because we've used a gas oven, you can see that everything is beautiful and even, and this means that we're going to have those perfect butterfly wings on every single cake. Now we're just going to transfer our cupcakes to a cooling rack. It's really important that we make sure that they're completely cool before we start putting the cream on. So now it's time to take the tops off. I really like using a serrated knife. That way it doesn't ruin the rest of the cake so we get a nice even slice. There we are. And then as we cut them in half, they're going to make our two little butterfly wings. Now I like to put a little surprise inside my butterfly cakes. So I'm going to use a piping nozzle and I'm just going to push that into the center of each cake. And what it does is removes a small amount of cake really perfectly. Now to me that looks like just the right amount of space for some delicious raspberry jam. Now with our piping nozzle, I just like to do one movement, just like that. Already they're looking so pretty. Now it's time to put our little wings on. Now they just go into the centre like this, leaving enough room for some beautiful fresh berries. Now it's time for some icing sugar. Just a little sprinkle. And then I've got raspberries, blackberries and strawberries. So just nesting each piece of berry into the cream. And they just look beautiful. So the secret to baking the perfect cupcake is cooking with gas.